Welcome, one and all, to Midnight Reading, with yours truly, Charles Hood. Today, we'll, well, tonight, we'll be reading The T-Rex, written and illustrated by Michael Hood, published by Michael Hood Printers. The T-Rex. The T-Rex. Chapter 1. Getting Kicked. The T-Rex named T ran over the plains after a herd of Diplodocus. He was on a rampage today, and he wasn't going to be talked out of it. As he neared them, he saw that a sick dinosaur was in the herd, so he went after that one. But a Diplodocus kicked him in the nose, and it was bruised badly so he decided that he was going to go for smaller prey. He went back toward the jungle when he saw his friend, the Allosaurus, Al. He said, what happened to your nose? T said, I got kicked by a dinosaur that was too big. Oh, said the Allosaurus, then you will come with me to my house. My sister will be cooking tonight and we'll have meat, meat, and more meat, okay? Okay, T said. Chapter 2. Eating at Owls When they got there, sure enough, there were plates of meat and cups of blood, and Owl's sister making another pot of meat for them. The place smelled wonderful, and they sat down to eat. T got ten helpings, plus the first one that he ate. And after he ate all that, he could hardly move. When he woke up, he remembered that his mom and dad were gone, and he had to take care of the house. So he invited all of his friends over, Al the Allosaurus, Albert the Albertosaurus, Jesse the Gigantosaurus, and Alice the Allosaurus, Al's sister, of course. He invited them for a secret party. Chapter 3. The Party When his friends got there, he told them about everything. They liked the idea, so they got out their food and that T told them to get, and they had that party. When it was over, they cleaned up, and when they cleaned up, T's mom and dad came in the front door and asked T what he did. T said, nothing much. So they had a supper of triceratops and went to bed. Chapter 4, The Next Day When T got up the next morning, he was feeling sick, so his mom took his temperature and he was sick, so he had to stay in bed for four or five days. How he got sick, I don't know, but he got sick. His friends gave him presents during that time, so he felt happy. How nice. Chapter 5. Getting Kicked When he got better, he tried to find that herd of Diplodocus he found earlier. He found it all right, and this time it was funny. The thing is, he saw the same sick one, and he got kicked on the same spot by the same dinosaur that he got kicked on last time. The end. How nice. What a very inspiring story. I thank you for joining me, and this has been Midnight Reading with Charles Hood. Have a great day. Or... <laughs>